the core press. You've got the core press. Stay away from me. Go ahead. Do you have questions about the Niravarain prophecies or other questions to ask me? Or do you bring me news of the lost prophecies? You have these lost prophecies. You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart. And then you will tell me what these priests say, what they see in these words, and then you must lead me, hunt, sleep, train, feed. Learn the land. I must bring these things into me and place them before my ancestors and listen to them and to the skis and stars of my dreams. And then, when the moons have come and gone, return, and I will give you my judgment. You have told me of these lost prophecies. Let me relieve you of the burden of your coin. Outlander. I am ready to give you my judgment. The ancestors and stars have given me clear signs. The lost prophecies leave no doubt the incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura, must lift the seven curses of Dagartha. Prophecy has shown the seven steps of the Niravarin's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on that path. I will read the signs and show you the way it is time for you to walk the path of the seven visions, and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. You are born on a certain day to uncertain parents, so you have passed the first trial. My dreams show me that you also fulfill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him the curse your flesh before him flays. I have read the signs, but I cannot understand, can you explain this to me? That you have overcome the curse your flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Yet the signs of my dreams are clear, you have passed the second trial, but the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share, go to Sol Magil, the guardian of our cult, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on your next steps on the path of the Nuravarin. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. You've got the 
Corpus. Stay away from me. Always happy to chat with people I like, and I like you. You have entered the path of the Nerevarine. This is a hard thing to believe. But Nibani Meza has spoken to me at length of this, and I have had time to consider. Therefore I shall keep my own counsel, and set before you my own test. I do not dispute with the wise women, but their ways are not the ways of the warrior. Many before have tried the path of the Nerevarin, but all have failed the warrior's test. You must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Nearby lies Kogorun the ancient halls of the forgotten house, House Degoth. In recent time, creatures of the Blight have come to dwell there. I myself went there, with some brave hunters, and came back again, but it was a bad place, and I am not ashamed to say I was afraid, for myself and my men. If you would have from me the secret of the third trial, the caverns dark where Azura's eye sees, you will first bring to me three tokens from Dark Kogoran. The first token is corporous weepings from a corporous beast to show that you are proof against the disease's corruption. The second token is a cup with the mark of House de Goth, for I have myself seen such cups there and will know you have seen with your eyes what I have seen with mine. The third token is the shadow shield, which lies on the tomb of Degoth Morin in the lava tunnels deep beneath ruined Kogoron. Bring these things to me. And then I will tell you the secret of the third test. Thank you.
I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Just ask, you have my complete attention. Ahemusa camp is on the northeast, the farthest tip of Vardenfell Island, north from Telmora, near old Daedric ruins of old Daedroth. Argonians are the savage halfmen of the southern marshes. Our peoples used to keep them as slaves, but they are useless. The settled people still keep them as slaves to grub in the soil. They are dirty and wick, and we should drive them all back into the swamps they came from. Kogoron was an ancient Dunmer stronghold. Here, let me mark it on your map. Go I dare, in good weather, or you may miss your way. Follow the coast east from Urshilaku camp to the ruined Dunmer stronghold called Velenverion, then turn southwest. You'll see Ebernanit, a ruined Diedrich shrine. Continue south from Ebernanit to Kogoron, a grey table of stone with many ruined buildings. There are many rooms, the passages are old and deep. Beneath are caves with pools of fire. It is a bad place. Go prepared. You have already completed the initiation rite. Prophecies are but words. I would judge you by your deeds, the deeds of a warrior. I am impressed. These three tokens you have brought me, you may keep them. You have passed the warrior's test. And you must go to the cavern of the Incarnate, a place sacred to Azura, and look for the moon and star. The secret of the cavern of the Incarnate is in a riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door and the star is the key. This riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes, and you shall find the way. Seek the cavern of the incarnate. Gain the moon and star, and bring it to Nibene Mesa. Take with you my blessing, and the blessing of our tribe, Malapuataman's belt. May you find all that you seek, traveler. I shall be your guide to the seven trials on the path of the Nirvarain, ask, and I shall answer with Azura's blessing. Now with the lost prophecies, much is revealed. You, the outlander incarnate beneath Red Mountain, must face Dagotha to lift the seven curses of the sixth house. Curse of fire, curse of ash, curse of flesh, curse of hosts, curse of seed, curse of despair, curse of dreams. To remove these curses, you must go to Red Mountain and defeat Dagotha and all his hosts. It is an unspeakable task. But perhaps, with Azura's blessing, at least we have hope. So Mitchell shall tell you of the third trial, and I shall guide each of your steps on the path of the Nirvarain. So Mitchell has sent you to seek the third trial, he has told you of the shrine to Azura called the Caven of the Incarnate. I cannot tell you how to find this place, but he has said you may seek the wisdom of the tribes, and the wisdom of a wise woman I may share with you. Perhaps what I know can help you with these lines of the riddle the star is the key, and the dream is the door. This is a common phrase among wise women, meaning that dreams are the door to the visions of prophecy.
that you have overcome the curse your flesh is miracle enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Now the signs of my dreams are clear. You fulfill the second trial. Postgate is a great warrior's fort of the settled people. It blocks the only hole in the magic wall that keeps Degoth, er, and his evil trapped inside. These warriors serve false gods, but they are brave fighters. Muthsera? I don't think we've been introduced, Alander. I'm um, how can I help you? I'm listening. Go ahead. Plan friend, welcome. If you have come to speak with Nervene Mesa, you will find her in her yacht. Thank you. I don't know where to This is such an honor to meet you. May I help you? I don't think we've been introduced, Alander. I'm um, how can I help you? Outlander. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. Um, how can I help you? Mathsera. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. Um, how can I help you? This token of our tribe, Malapotamon's belt, is proof of Solmatchel's blessing. Let me think. Perhaps you mean the needle. It is a tall rock column in the Valley of the Wind. I have slept beneath it once or twice. The Valley of the Wind is a valley on the northeast slopes of Red Mountain. The entrance to the valley is marked by Aaron's teeth, two tall rock spires. Sarah? I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. Um, how can I help you? The cave rat is a subterranean variety of the hardy, abundant hunter scavenger. Rat meat is tough and greasy with an unpleasant odor and taste. Nonetheless, it is cheap, abundant, and nutritious, and palatable when cooked in a stew and masked by strong, strong spices. You bear Malapuatman's belt. I will share what I know. Hmm. I know no place of that name, but there is a place called Yaren's Teeth in the Volley of the Wind. These two rock spires mark the entrance to the Volley of the Wind, and they bear the name of the seer, Aaron, one blessed by Azura. Three blessings to you, Outlander. This is a pleasure. Always happy to chat with people I like, and I like you. Malapuatman's belt. I know this token, and I wish to help you, but I'm sorry. I know the needle. And yes, I see that the Wittish rock atop the spire might remind someone of Pearl. But I don't know of any cave or mouth of a cave in that valley. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I shall be your guide to the seven trials on the path of the Nirivarin, ask, and I shall answer with Azura's blessing. Ah, the star is Azura. Azura's star appears in the sky only in the magical hall between day and night, at dawn, and twilight. You say the star is the key, Azura's star, 
then the door is only seen at dawn and dusk, and the star is the key that opens it. If the door is only seen at dawn and dusk, then it may be that the mouth of the cave is hidden or magical, and cannot be seen except when it is opened by the key Azura's star. The orcs are savage halfmen that the westerners call human, they should go back to their mountains in the west and leave us alone. The emperor uses them as his soldiers and they are indeed fierce warriors, cunning with leather and steel. The Bosmer are foreigners, outlanders, they live in trees and eat nothing but meat, we have no forests here. Why don't they go back where they came from? We're the Dunmer, the dark-skinned, red-eyed elven people who followed the Prophet Viloth out of the Southwest generation upon generation ago, settling here in Morrowind. We are the true Dunmer. We have remained true to the sacred rites and customs of our forefathers. The house people also called the settled people called Dark Elves by the Outlanders were also of the ancient lineage of the Prophet Viloth. The Imperials came out of the West and tricked the gods of the settled people, the false, gods called the Tribunal. Now the Imperials act like they own Morrowind and they claim, we are ruled by their chief, the one they call Emperor. We think nothing of this foolishness, but they have great armies of soldiers in armor who come and burn our yurts and slay our children. So we hate them, but we must remember to be quiet and patient and cunning as Bothia has taught us. The Khajiit are savage, halfmen of the southern deserts and jungles. They are ignorant and superstitious, but they are clever and dangerous. Our fathers used to keep them as slaves, but they are sneaky and untrustworthy. The settled people still keep them as slaves to feed them and keep their great houses clean. Impressive. These clothes suit you well. Nerevar reborn, incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. 
Seek the Ashlander Ashcans and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarine. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarine, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me and with my blessing. May you find all that you seek, Traveler. Welcome, Incarnate, Moon and Star Reborn, Hortator, Nerevarin, Mourner of the Tribe Unmourned, Redeemer of the False Gods, I am Peakstar. I was not the one, but I wait and hope, ask, and I shall answer if wisdom guides me. You must go before the counselors of the Great Houses and satisfy them, for only the councils of the Great Houses can name you Hortator. I do not know the settled people of the Great Houses, and can offer you no counsel. Dunmer of the Ashlands and Dunmer of the Houses have traditions of a war leader set over all the tribes in times of need. First, your task is to prove to them their need, then you must prove that you should be their war leader. The Niravarin, for Ashlanders are Hortata, for the Great Houses. To show them their need, you must tell them about the tribunal, how they have adopted the profane tools of the dwarves, how they have betrayed and misled their people and give them proofs. You must tell them about Dagothar and the Sixth House, about their powers and plans, and how the tribunal no longer has power to contain them. You bear the moon and star, the ring of Nerevar, known Maidene you are Nerevar reborn, the prophesied incarnate. The temple will know you as an enemy, ordinators will mark you for death, and the tribunal faithful of the great houses will hate and fear you. The doubters of the tribes will test your strength and doubt your honor, you will be known, you must prepare, and be ready. You must go before the Ashkans of the Wastes people and satisfy them, for only the Ashkans of the four tribes can name you Nuravarin. Speak first with Salmachal of the Ashalaku, and with wise woman Nabane Meza, for of all the Ashlanders, they are wisest in the law of the Incarnate, and you have already shown Salmachal proof of your worth. I am a failed Incarnate, so are all these who remain here with me in the cavern of the Incarnate. I survived the Blight, but I fell in battle with an Ash Vampire, I could not master the arts of war nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me as Hortator. Take these few poor things, they are of no use to me. I have failed, I was not the one. Kagranak, High Priest of the Dwemer, forged enchanted artifacts to steal the power of the gods. Nerva fought the Dwemer to prevent this blasphemy. But Dagatha took these tools to make himself a god, and the tribunal took these tools to make themselves gods. Though the tribunal sought to do good with their power, they are tainted by the same corrupt desires that moved Dagatha. Pity Dagatha and the Sixth House, all they do, all they are is foul and evil, but they begin in brightness and honor, and the cause of their fall was their loyal service to you, Lord Nirvar. You told Lord Dagoth to guard the profane tools beneath Red Mountain, and thus he was tempted. He did your bidding when he tried to keep these tools from the Tribunal, and so he hates you, who betrayed him, and the Tribunal who mocked his honor attacked him, and stole the profane tools for their own use. To prove to them your fitness as war leader to the Dunma, people, you must demonstrate your might in battle, your honor in speech, and your wisdom in leadership. I will answer when I can, and with what I know, that the visions of Azura are often obscure, for two reasons. One, because the future cannot be known, and choices may always be made. Two, because truth is not clear or simple. 
Azura's riddles warn us to think long and hard, they force us to search carefully for truth and meaning, and not to rely only on impulse and force. I'm never too busy for good talk. How are you? Welcome, Incarnate. I am Interior. I was not the one, but I wait, and hope, ask, and I shall tell you my story. I am Interior. I was called to the prophecies, but I was not the one. If you want to know everything there is to know about being a mage, let me suggest Esther Dallin at the Balmora Mages Guild. You want to talk to an expert in the trade, patient, and well-spoken someone who likes to talk about the subjects. You don't want a trainer not unless you expect to pay for the information, and you don't want someone too busy or important to talk to you. Try Esther Dullin, he's smart, friendly, and ready to talk. I was a holy crusader of the temple in the golden era of the Tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings that were later suppressed by the temple, and now would be called Apographa. I followed the tribunal unquestioningly, to my regret. I never believed in the Nerevarine prophecies until it was too late. Take my humble possessions with my blessing. I have failed. I was not the one. You are the Nirivarin, you are the Incarnate, you are the one, you must not fail. An ancestor has no trade, but to guard and counsel the living kin. A darkness is on the land, and only you can bring the light. Muthsera? Welcome, Incarnate. I am Erudin. I was not the one, but I wait and hope, ask and I shall tell you my story. I am Erodan. I was called to the prophecies, but I was not the one. I saw Morrowind fall to the Empire. I lived through the humiliation of the surrender, swore hatred and vengeance against Imperial and Tribunal alike for their betrayals. In later years, I despaired and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor. I have no further use for them. An ancestor has no trade, but to guard and counsel the living kin. You are the Nerevarine. You are the Incarnate. You are the one. You must not fail. May you find all that you seek. Yes, Outlander, how do you do? Welcome, Incarnate. I am Adrian and Nerothan. I was not the one, but I wait and hope, ask, and I shall tell you my story. I am Adrian A. Nerot. I was called to the prophecies, but I was not the one. I lived in the late years of the Tribunate, and behind the scenes, I helped us demoralize then repel the Ekavira invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarin or Dagatha until, I took refuge with the Ashlanders, I died a fool trying to loot ruined Kargoron here. Take these, 
Maybe there's something in the world left worth stealing. An ancestor has no trade but to guard and counsel the living kin. You are the Nirabarin, you are the incarnate, you are the one, you must not fail. Thank you. Welcome, incarnate. I am Kanun Chadala. I was not the one, but I wait and hope ask, and I shall tell you my story. I am Kanun Chodal. I was called to the prophecies, but I was not the one. I was an Ashkan. I led my people against the Akaviri while the Cyrodiil dogs fled before them like Kagauti. I quested deep into the strongholds and Red Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood. I did not heed the counsel of the woman, and to my shame, I craved glory but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours with my blessing. An ancestor has no trade, but to guard and counsel the living kin. You are the Nerevarine. You are the Incarnate. You are the one. You must not fail. Outlander. What? Welcome, Incarnate. I am Hordland. I was not the one. But I wait and hope, ask, and I shall tell you my story. I am Hortled. I was called to the prophecies, but I was not the one. I died 400 years ago, in the last days of turmoil and unrest after the Empire came to Morrowind. I was a thinker, and not a doer, and though I was marked by the stars, I was not a hero. Take these things of mine, my bones won't complain. An ancestor has no trade, but to guard and counsel the living kin. You are the Nerevarine, you are the Incarnate, you are the one, you must not fail. I am never too busy for a good talk. I shall be your guide to the seven trials on the path of the Nirivarin, ask, and I shall answer with Azura's blessing. Go to Balmora, the chief town of the Halayalu. I believe the counselors meet there in a great house with many rooms. The Halayalu are soft and cowardly, sly and greedy, their traders are liars and cheats. Look behind the woods, they speak for the truths they are hiding. The Halalu are great traders, keen for profit, and subtle with words. It will be hard to find someone you can trust, perhaps impossible. You may have to fight with words to find the truth. Beware of tricks and lies. Seek behind appearances. Look for hidden power. Be wary. Be suspicious. When a greater enemy threatens, the great houses, put aside their quarrels and choose a hortator, a single war leader to lead all the houses. Only a great house council can name a hortator, and all councils must agree. Speak with the Redoran councillors, Halal councillors, and tell the Nick councillors, prove to them that Dagatha threatens. When you are named Redoran hortator, Halal hortator, and tell the Nick hortator, only then will you be the hortator named in prophecy. Tell me what you saw and heard in the cavern of the Incarnate, it is as I have seen in my dream. It is a true dream, 
sent from Azura to guide me. I do not know the ways of wizards. I have heard they honor the tests of life and death, as we do, the ones who live live a long time. The ones who die are forgotten, they are old and strange, and terrible, I know little, but I am afraid, and that is my counsel to you, be afraid. It is no time to be bold and careless, it is no time to hoard your treasures, with wizards, there are no second chances. The four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell, the Urshaleku, the Ahemusa, the Zainab, and the Erebanim Sun. When you have been named Nerebarin by each of the four Ashlander tribes of Vardenfell, come to me for further guidance, or you will have passed the fifth trial. You must go to Ahemusa camp. I have heard the Ahemusa are in a pitiful way, and that they do not have an Ashken. In this case, the wise woman may be acting as the chief of the tribe and perhaps, she can speak for the tribe to name you Ahemus and Nerebarin. You must go to Erebanimson camp. The Ashkan of the Erebanimson, Yulathpal, is a strong chief, but violent and cruel. He and his Gilakans are known as killers, and attack unarmed victims and betray the rules of hospitality. It is a difficult problem. Only the Ashkan can name you Nerevaran. But this Ashkan may not be willing, and even if he were, he is a bad chief, dishonorable, and not to be trusted. I do not know what you should do. Speak to the tribe's wise woman, perhaps she will give you counsel. When you have been named Hortator by each of the three great houses of Vardenfell, Come to me for further guidance, for you will have passed the fourth trial. Yes, you have passed my judgment. I do not know the ways of the settled people, but I do know in the Council of Chiefs, you must cultivate a friend and beware an enemy. Find one who is willing, or who is well disposed to you, win him, and use him to win the others. Since he loves his power, and hates to share it, recognize your enemy, and prepare for him. You must go to Zainab camp, the Ashkan of the Zainab, Koshat, is a strong and popular chief, but he is known to be vain and hard-headed. To persuade him to name you Zainab Nirivarin, you must be strong, yes, but you must also be clever to please him, and earn his favor. Thank you. Of course, it would be an honor and a pleasure. How can I help you? Good. First, I would give you warning. When you are called Nereverine, the word must spread, and many must hear. Your enemies will hear, and come seeking your blood. And such friends as you may have among the great houses, those who heed the words of the temple, they may forget their love for you. If you have business with the people of the houses and temple, you may wish to conduct that business first, before you are named Nereverin. Second, I tell you, seek the counsel of wise woman Nibani Meza, for you are an outlander, and ignorant of the ways of our people. Nibani Meza can tell you of the other tribes, of their ways, and of their Ashkens. If you do not know these things, you will make many mistakes, and waste precious time, that is my counsel. Now, if you wish to be named Urshilak Nerevarin, we may speak of these things. 
know the words of the prophecies. The curse of Digoth, her and the sixth house threatens our land. The false gods lie, and offer false hope of protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. These are the proofs you must show to all people as Urshilak Nerevarin. From the unmourned house have come forth the seven curses. The sixth house is a great evil, and a great danger to all people. This is the need. You have seen this need. You have fought the sixth house. You have known the curse of Corpus. You have harrowed Kogoran, and seen the darkness that lies within. When you tell your story, others may be shown the proofs. You have learned the lies of the tribunal and the false hope they offer of protection from Degatha. We have heard the priest's own words of the Apographa, and we know them to be true. We have heard the words of the dissident priests, and we know them to be true. The false gods have broken their promises and have taken up the tools of the enemy. This is a great evil and a great danger. You wear the moon and star of Nerva. The legend of moon and star is known to all lore masters. No man but Nerva may wear that ring and live. This is a true sign. This is a miracle, a blessing of Azura, and no man may deny it. You shall be Nervarine of all the tribes, and Hortator of all the great houses. You shall eat the sin of the unmourned house, and free the false gods. You must defeat the sixth house, and Dagothal. You must free the tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. This shall be your duty as Urshilak Nervarine. The war-loving Erebinim son of Molag Mar are bad people, badly led. The Ashlanders of Erebinim son camp are greedy and cruel, and have no respect for Ashlander custom. Ashken Ulathpal is ruthless and arrogant, and he surrounds himself with Gulakens like himself. Blood will be spilled, let it not be yours. There is one Gulaken of their tribe, Hanamu, who might be shaped as a new Ashken. He is a weak reed, but is wise woman. Manare is strong and resourceful. Seek her counsel. The meek Amusa of the Grazelands are weak in arms, and in a terrible way, driven from their best grazing grounds, and beset by monsters in Ahemusa camp in the distant northeast. The wise woman of the Ahemusa, Sinamu Mirpol, is also their Ashken. If you can help them with strength of arms, they should welcome you with open arms. Erebinim Sun Camp is in the wastelands of Molagamur, the land of fire and smokes in southeastern Vardenfell. Here, let me mark it on your map. The cans of the great houses are called counselors. The cans of House Hlalu meet in a place on a river far away. They call the place Balmora. Stonewood in our speech. You must find these counselors and persuade them to name you Hortata. I can tell you nothing about these people. You must go there and learn for yourself. The cans of the great houses are called counselors. The cans of House Redoran meet in a great crab shell in a place called Aldrun. You must find these counselors and persuade them to name you Hortita. I know little of the settled people. You must go there and learn for yourself. The cans of the great houses are called counselors. The cans of House Telvani meet in a very strange place, I'm told. They call it Sadrath Mora, which means forest of the mushrooms in our tongue. I have heard the Telvani live in giant mushrooms. I'm sure it is a very bad place, but you must go and find their counselors and persuade them to name you Hortita. For you to fulfill the prophecy and unite the four tribes, you must be named as the Nuravarin by each of the four Vardenfell tribes. When you tell your story to the Ashken of each tribe, and show them your proofs, he should acknowledge you as Nuravarin on behalf of his tribe. But it may not be so simple. An Ashken may take the opportunity to extract a favor or service from you. Or the Erebinim son may not be so ready to accept an outlander as Nuravarin.
So, you have faced the third trial in the cavern of the Incarnate? Tell me what you saw and heard there. It is as Nibeni Mesa says. Perhaps you are the chosen one. We shall see. The Urshalak are the Ashlanders of the Northern Ashlands and the West Gash. I am the chief of the Urshalak, and Nibani Mesa is our wise woman, a deep and shrewd counselor and seer of the Nerevarian cult. Before my hearth and kin, and before the people of the wastes, I name you Urshalak Nerevarin war leader of the Urshalaku, and protector of the people. In token of this, I give you the teeth, which shall be assigned to all Dunma, that you are the Nerevarain, and that the Urshalaku shall follow you, in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back into my hand. Yes, I have named you Urshalak Nervarin, war leader of the Urshalak, and protector of the people, and so you shall be known to all Ashlander tribes. The fifth trial is to join the four tribes of the Ashlanders under the Nervarin. They must put aside pride and tribal squabbles, and together face the blighted hosts of Degatha. The Urshalak who shall name you Nervarin. But you must concern yourself with the other tribes, the Mika Musa, the Wili Zainab, and the war-loving Erebinimson. They may not be so quick in naming the Nerevarin as the Urshalak. The fourth trial is to join the three grey houses of Vardenfell under one Hortator. You must be named Hortator in turn by House Redoran, House Hlavo, and House Telvani. I know little of the ways of the great houses. But first I would try the Redoran, for they are warriors, hard-willed, but straightforward. Then I'd try the Hlalu, for though they are weak and spoiled, they are cunning and crafty. Save the Telvani for last. Anyone who is not afraid of a 2,000-year-old wizard is a fool. The Willy Zainab of the Grazelands are proud, arrogant, and greedy and none more than their Ashken Koshad. But they are likable rogues, strong and self-assured. Show them you are strong and proud. Satisfy their greed and pride. The Ashlanders of Zainab camp are clever and cunning, and you, too, must be clever and cunning to outwit them. Zainab camp is in northeast Vardenfell, southwest of Vos village, in the rolling plains of the Grazelands, here, let me mark it on your map. Head southwest from Vos across the Grazelands until you strike the Futhils, then head south, keeping the Futhils on your right. When you pass the Duema ruins of Nchuleft on the western edge of the Grazelands, you'll cross an east-west road. Zainab camp is eight or ten yurts east of the hills and south of that road. This land suits you. We welcome you freely, Outlander. 